Hey, Snuffkin! <laughs> You're off to the moments? Yes. I thought you'd gone south already. Last winter you'd gone before the snow started. Not this year. I promised Moomin. Promised? I promised not to leave Moomin Valley until he went into hibernation. Snufkin, I'd like to say how sorry I am. Why? I persuaded you to stay on here instead of going south as you'd planned. I'm leaving tomorrow. But the snow is quite deep. Don't worry, I'm used to deep snow. Good morning, Moomin. Lovely day. Good morning, Snufkin. You look very sleepy. So would you be if those explosions had kept you awake for most of the night. Those explosions are really very odd, aren't they? They certainly are. Would you come with me and have a word with the witch? Moomin Papa's convinced that she's the one who's making the bangs. I think he's wrong there. That's what I thought, but there's nothing I could say to convince him. So now I'm going to find out for myself. You can certainly ask her, but do you really trust a witch to tell you the truth? Do you, Moomin? <laughs> Is that you, little Mai? And where are you two going? Little Mai, are you tailing me full time or what? Yes, whenever you're sneaking off somewhere. I'm not sneaking, I'm just walking. Well, I've never seen anyone walking in such a sneaky way. Surprise, bitch. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Hmm. Look, you don't seem to realize this is a witch's house. I know it's embarrassing, but I'm so excited I can't go to sleep at night. Oh, I have no problem going to sleep at night, but that noise wakes me up, Hamulon. What noise is that? I told you, that noise. Oh, I see. You're talking about the explosion. <laughs> hey, Block Snuffkin, why don't we go and find out about those explosions tonight, huh? All right. You'll need me to find the way. You want to come along? You bet. They come late at night. I won't go to sleep then. What do you think, Snuffkin? I'm not sure. Isn't there anything you can do to change your mind, Moomin? I don't know. Listen, little Mai, you have to be careful. This could be dangerous. Obviously, or I wouldn't come, would I, and spoil my sleep? Well, stick close to us, then. Yes, do that. I also went down to the beach late last night to try and find out what was happening. And while I was there, I saw the witch flying around on her broomstick. Oh, really? Why didn't you tell me so I could have come along? I could hide better than you. You're so white. Eh? Oh, it's arrived. Hello, Mr. Mailman. Splendid day, isn't it? Hello, Mr. Hamulin. Oh, you work so hard. Yeah, I guess I do at that. Wait, my letter. I just want my letter. There isn't one. But why not? You didn't have any yesterday or the day before. Yeah, I know that. Nobody's written to you, that's why. Well, somebody should have written. Are you quite, quite sure that you've gone through your bag properly? Go ahead. Have a look for yourself, then. Oh, you seem to have a lot of letters today. She called me Mr. Bombastic. Tell me fantastic. Put me on me box. She says I'm Mr. Rule. He's up in the guest room if you want him. Mama's there as well. What for? I just rescued a girl, you know. A girl? Did you sniff? Oh, I'd forgotten all about the bangs. Well, we haven't. Snuffkin and I are going to look for them tonight. Well, I'd like to come, too, but uh, I can't. I'm going with them. Are you Snork Maiden? Well, then, Papa, why don't you come with us? Oh, there's nothing I'd love more, but I'd better not tonight. Right, Mama? Oh, definitely not. What would I do if something happened to the girl while you were away? Exactly. Good. I think we should save this food for a while. We might have to wait a long time for the explosions. And they might not come tonight. Stop stuffing yourself, Moomin. The rest is for Snufkin and me. But you can't eat any more. Yes, I can. We must share it in equal parts, otherwise it's not fair. I think it should be shared in proportion to how big one is. Hmm? Oh, where did that come from? From the sea. Keep a sharp lookout. Look over there. Oh! Wow! Come on! Some 
Somebody must be out there in a boat. There's a boat. The fireworks must have come from there. Hey, come ashore. Is that the Hemulin, do you think? No, I don't think so. I want to see my little boy. Moomin! Snuffkin! Where are you running off to in such a hurry? Come with us. The mystery of the fireworks has been solved. Has it really? So who's behind it? It's too complicated to explain now. Hurry and I'll tell you on the way. At least tell me where we're going. To the Hemulins, come on! To the Hemulins? Have you come to congratulate me? What for? Oh, this is very kind of you, I must say. <laughs> Mr. Hemulin, do you know a young man who makes fireworks? Huh? Young man? Oh, so you found that out. What a relief. <laughs> he did ask me not to tell anyone else, but I suppose it's all right to tell you now. this beautiful night in Moomin Valley, Mr. Hemulin. Soon to be named Hemulensis or Hemuliformis after him. Where to begin? Now the orchid has no fewer than 16... It has a lovely... Looks like that! Goodness gracious me, that's exactly what it looks like! Hey, Inspector, don't you ever have to arrest any criminals? Huh? What do you mean? Seems to me you spend all your time running around after my sister. Perhaps you'd care to tell me what you think real police work is. Collecting fingerprints, arresting crooks, and interrogating them, of course. Well, maybe, but we don't have crooks in Moomin uh, Valley. Now you mention it, we haven't any. Hey, Snufkin, I've got a great idea. Yes? You and I should start dating. Sweet home, Ooh. Well, we don't actually need a police station in Moomin Valley. Well, if we only had more crime here, they wouldn't be able to close down the station. Yes, but there's never any crime in Moomin Valley. Unless we commit some, I guess. What? Let's go and fill Moomin Valley with crime. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Mama! Mama! Yes, dear? Have you seen my knife? Open up! In the name of the law! Yes. <laughs> Come right in, Inspector. I wonder what's taking them so long in there. Now I really must be getting on with my work. <laughs> my helmet's gone all heavy. <laughs> what have you done to my best helmet, you bitch? <laughs> and so, thanks to that master criminal, Snuffkin, the inspector's job was saved. Once again, spring was back in the air, and not a crook in sight.